Hello friends, this video on Rational Numbers Part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So here we introduce rational numbers in standard form. So what do we mean by standard form? Now any rational number is said to be in its standard form if its denominator is positive integer and the numerator and the denominator have no common factor other than 1. So let us understand with example. So let us take this example, minus 9 by minus 3. So here what is the numerator? Numerator is minus 9. What is the denominator? Denominator is minus 3. So do you think that minus 9 and minus 3, they have any common factor? Yes, they have a common factor. And what is that common factor? That common factor, so if you look at the common factor, between minus 3 and minus 9, then the common factor is minus 3. Why? Because you see minus 9 by minus 3. This can be very well written as minus 3 into 3 divided by minus 3 into 1. Right? So basically you see minus 3 is a common factor of both minus 9 and the minus 3. By now you know how to find out factors. right? Any number which divides this number completely leaving 0 as remainder that is a factor for that number. So in this case what happens this minus 3 and minus 3 cancels out. So you get 3 by 1. Perfect. Okay, so in this case, we, you had a common factor minus 3. So minus 3 was one common factor. Now when you look at this 3 by 1, so in this case, 3 is the numerator and 1 is the denominator. So do you think that we have common factor between 3 and 1? So the only common factor that we have between 3 and 1 is 1. So 1 is the only common factor that we have. Other than 1, we do not have any other common factor. Now since we do not have any other common factor, so we cannot reduce it further. For example, minus 3 by minus 9, it had one common factor was 1, the other common factor was minus 3. So we could reduce it to 3 by 1. But now 3 by 1 doesn't have any other common factor except 1. So 3 by 1 is in its standard form. That means we cannot reduce it any further. So this is called standard form. Now let us look at more examples. Let us take the example of 3. So do you think 3 is in its standard form? Yes, because 3 is nothing but 3 by 1. So when you find out their factors, you see that the only factor they have in common is 1. So therefore it is in its standard form. Let's look at 1 by minus 8. So in this case, we first the, one other criteria is that the denominator should be positive. So in this case, in order to make the denominator positive, what do we do? So we multiply the numerator and denominator by minus 1. So what do we get? We get minus 1 divided by 8. Now if you look at factors of 1 and 8, you see that the only common factor that they have is 1. So that means minus 1 by 8 is the standard form. 28 by minus 77. Again, in this case, the denominator is negative. So we need to make the denominator positive. So for that, we multiply the numerator and denominator by minus 1. So we get minus 28 divided by 77. Again, when you compare the factors of 28 and 77, you see that they do not have anything in common except 1. Therefore, this is the standard form. So, any rational number is said to be in its standard form only if it cannot be reduced further. That is, it doesn't have any other common factor. The numerator and the denominator do not have common factors except 1. So now let's understand the steps to reduce a rational number to standard form. Now as we saw that we can create as many equivalent rational numbers as we want by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So that means all those equivalent numbers should be able to be reduced to their standard form, right? So how do we exactly reduce rational numbers to their standard form? So to understand this, we will understand with an example. So let us take example 1. Let's say we take this rational number 28 by 20. So first of all, we have to decide whether we need to reduce it to its standard form or it is already in its standard form. So for that, we need to find out factors of 28 and 20. So first find out factors. 
So what will be the factors of 28? For 28, the factors are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28. So we have, I have already taught you how to find out factors. So if you have forgotten, then please refer the videos on factors and multiples. Similarly, find out factors for 20, which would be 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20. So which are the common factors that they have? One common factor is 1. The next common factor is 4. That means other than 1 also we have some other common factors. That means that it can be further reduced to its standard form. So currently it is not in its standard form. So how do we reduce it to its standard form? So to reduce it to its standard form, the first step is to find the HCF of numerator and denominator. HCF is the highest common factor. Now looking at the factors of 28 and 20, what do you think is the highest common factor? One common factor is 1, the other common factor is 4, which is higher? 4. So the HCF of 28 and 20 is 4. Now what we do in the next step? Now we divide the numerator and the denominator by HCF. That is 28 by 20 and now we divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. So 28 divided by 4 is 7, 20 divided by 4 is 5. So now you have 7 by 5. So do you think it is in its standard form? So for that let's quickly check the denominator is positive, yes and which are the factors, common factors between 5 and 7? The only common factor between them is 1. That means 7 by 5 is in its standard form. So this is how we reduce any rational number to its standard form. Find the HCF, divide the numerator and denominator by HCF. Now you might ask what, how do we reduce rational number to standard form if it has a negative sign? So let us look at one more example. So let's say in example 2, we have a rational number minus 128 divided by 40. So how do we reduce it to its standard form? In this case also we follow the same steps and you completely ignore the negative sign and that is how you can reduce it to standard form. So how do you do that? You find out the highest common factor. So how do you find out highest common factors? Let us write all the factors of 128. So for 128, the factors would be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128. Similarly, let us write all the factors for 40, which would be 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20 and 40. So which are the common factors? So one common factor is 1, the next common factor is 2, third common factor is 4, the next is 8 and after that we do not have any other common factor. So there are 4 common factors between 40 and 28. 1, 2, 4 and 8. Now looking at this you can very clearly see that the highest common factor out of these are is 8. So 8 is the HCF between 40 and 128. So what do we do? We divide the numerator and the denominator by 8. So this is divided by 8. Now minus 128 divided by 8, what would that be? So minus 128 divided by 8 will be 16. In fact minus 16 because you know that while division if one number is negative. While division and multiplication if one number is negative then the result is negative. So in this case it would be minus 16 and in the denominator 40 divided by 8 that will be equal to 5. So minus 16 by 5. Now when you look at the factors of 16 and 5, you see that they have only one as common factor. That means this is in its standard form. So this is how we reduce a rational number to its standard form. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.